Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmadov and today I want to show how I skip Cypress tests if one of the dependent previous tests fails. So imagine I'm trying to test that the user can buy an item. I could write a single test that logs in, adds an item to the card, goes to the card and then checks out. But if that test fails somewhere in the middle, I have no idea what specifically failed unless I look into the test. So what I would write to do is create separate tests. For example, it logs in, which just goes and logs in and then visits the inventory page. And the second test continues from the inventory page. It adds an item to the card. The third test actually goes to the card and makes sure that we are on the right page. Then maybe another test goes to the checkout and fills the checkout information. And finally, the last test says finish purchase and confirms that there is a confirmation element. Usually Cypress starts with fresh browser instance for each test to isolate them. But I can remove that by using test isolation false flag so that each test continues from a previous browser session. Let's see this in action. I will move the code editor to the right. I'm on the right branch. I installed everything and I can say npm run dev. This starts the local application and opens Cypress. I'll use Electron browser and I'll click on the spec. So logs in, adds an item, fills the information, the purchase is complete. Uh, four seconds, if we run it again, then we reuse the login session. So it's really, really quick. Now imagine one of the tests fails. Let's say we fail to select an item. So right here, instead of a clicking, I'll just try to check if uh, there is a remove button. And now the test failed. What happens next? Well, some of the tests might succeed, some might fail. And notice how they keep retrying um, their steps. But it makes no sense to retry them because, well, they're not going to succeed. We want to actually skip this test to speed it up and not to confuse ourselves. So how can we do this? I wrote a plugin specifically for skipping a test if any of the previous tests in the same suite of tests fails. So let's install it. npm install dev dependencies cypress skip this test. All right, so it's installed. We can import cypress skip this test and it doesn't have type declarations, but it does import export skip if previous test fail. So that's what we need to import. And all we need to do inside the suite of tests that we know are dependent on each other and on the order, we can say before each skip if previous test failed. So let's see the same failing spec right now. So the second test fails. And now what happens? Boom, the rest of the tests are skipped. So you don't have to worry about them. And if the test is successful, then it just goes on and executes those tests. Really, really simple. And if you look at implementation details, this is standard mocha. You get the mocha context from Cypress. And then you look at the parent suite and its test. And if there are tests, you check their status. And if any of the previous tests failed, you call context skip. And that skips current test. All right. So hope this is a useful plugin. I'm going to link the plugin in the description of this video.